Hello guys, welcome to my channel Mini Soft Tech. Today we are going to see how to start and stop the SQL services. Okay, so let's start. Okay guys, so in previous video we have seen that how to check the status of the SQL services for the single servers as well as for the multiple servers. So if you have not seen the video then go to my channel and check how to check the SQL service status. Okay. So here you can see that I have given the server name. So server name, I have defined the variable and here we have to pass the parameter like server name. Okay. And here again, I have defined the SQL service status. Okay. So before starting and stopping the SQL services, we have to check the status of the SQL service, whether it is stopped or started. Okay same you can do it for the multiple servers as well so say for example if i'm uncommenting here okay then i have to comment here and here i have to give the servers okay so be careful while you are enabling the option for the multiple servers so here we are going to check the start and stop for the single server okay so let's see the status first okay so here you can see that all the SQL services are running. So wherever it found the SQL, it has noted down the service. So say for example, if I want to start or stop a particular service, like this is a SQL service. So I have to give it here. Okay. And then it will start or stop the particular service. So I'm giving here. Since I don't want to start a particular service, I want to all this uh, stop all the services which contains SQL. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So it's showing the status that it is stop. It's still running okay it's completed now so i'm just going to comment this status and say going to see what is the status of the service so here you can see that all these services which contains the name as sql has been stopped okay now we are going to see if it is able to start the service or not okay so here I'm going to restart it now. Let's see. So as we can see that the service services are in stopped state and now it is showing that the services are started. Okay. So I'm just going to comment it and going to see the service status. Okay. So you can see that all the services have been started. Okay. So this is the way that will help you in the automation of the SQL services. It is useful for the local machine as well as you can use it for the remote server as well. So the server should be in the same domain so that you can connect to the servers. And here it works for the multiple servers as well. Okay, so you can select this one, uncomment it for the multiple servers. Okay, and run it across. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video and I hope that this is useful to you. Please like uh, my uh, videos and uh, subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. I hope this is useful to you. Thank you.